God. God bless you today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Happy Father's Day to all of our fathers. We honor you in Jesus' name. Thank you for being a blessing. Thank you for being a contribution. Thank you for carrying your weight and doing your part. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Just got through listening to William Murphy's song, You Are My Strength. Man, that song ministers to us. Amen. Hallelujah. And it tells us in that song, that the God's strength is reaching to us and his strength will lift us up. If you're beat down, if you're torn down, if you're weary, if you're bowed down, God's strength can lift you up. Someone needs to know that today, amen? Praise be to God. All month long, all of June, we've been talking about perseverance, amen? And how you and I, with God's strength and God's grace, we can move through the difficulties in our life. In fact, we can move in spite of the difficulties in our life that nothing that has happened around us or to us can prevent us from moving forward. I want to continue today uh, giving you the third installment in this sermon series, Perseverance. Now, what I want you to do, if you do me a favor, if this video, if this message has value to your life, would you like it? And then share it with someone else. Just let it go all around the world and minister to people that you know, hallelujah, that may be carrying a load and carrying a weight. They just need to know. Hallelujah, how God's strength can help them out. Amen. Now I want you to watch this video, which provides the framework for our message today. And then I'll be right back after the video to talk about the weight you carry. Hallelujah. See you in a few. I'm in debt. I have two car payments, four years into a 30-year mortgage, balances on a couple credit cards, plus college for three kids on the horizon, zero savings. I work long hours at a job that I hate. And despite all that, all I get is stress about how I can make more money. I take four pills at night for my back pain. Some days, getting up seems like too much. I struggle with dyslexia. I have high cholesterol. I overeat a little too often. I'm trying to get in shape, but it's never, I mean never enough. My dad died five years ago from cancer. I should have seen him more before he passed. Man, I miss him so much. Everyone expects me to be over it, but it's something that I still deal with daily. I haven't taken my wife on a date in four months. I practically forgot our anniversary. My kids need me when I get home, but it's late and I want to sleep. I spend my weekends at their functions, as if that's enough. All this, and I still resent my family because I have no time just for me. I can be amazingly selfish. I'm often angry, seemingly, for no reason. I struggle with lustful thoughts, none of which my wife understands, nor do I, for that matter. I'm good at some things, I'm great at nothing. I had dreams for my work and my family, and I abandoned them long ago. I think I'm a realist, and I come off as a pessimist. I feel restless knowing something is missing. I have too many burdens. They're suffocating. And this is the weight I carry. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, I thank you today for this opportunity to minister this word. I pray that your Holy Spirit will lead and guide us uh, through this word today, Lord God, that it will reach your people where you want it, that they'll hear the message, Lord God, that you'll minister to them in spirit, soul, and body, Lord God. I pray for the unbeliever today that may be viewing, Lord God, that they'll come to Christ today. And I pray that those who are saved will be encouraged, Lord God, in Jesus' name to persevere, hallelujah, and carry their weight, hallelujah, with wisdom and understanding and confidence and boldness in the face of difficulties, that they won't quit because the weight, hallelujah, seemingly is too heavy. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray today your perfect will be done. It is so, and so it is, hallelujah, amen. Well, let's get into the word of God today. Let's go hallelujah, to the word of the Lord. And let's begin to see what God is going to say to us. Amen, beloved. Hallelujah. Because I believe that God has a word for us. I believe that word that God has for us is a timely word. Hallelujah. And I just believe that, um, that God wants us to talk about it. Amen. He wants us to minister about this. Hallelujah. Because wait comes in the form of burdens or loads. And I want you to remember those two words because they're 
they, they comprise what weight is for our definition today. Weight comes in the forms of burdens or loads, and, and it's what you carry or deal with on a daily basis that have an impact on your life. These burdens or, or loads are, are spiritual, mental, physical, social, and financial. They could belong to another person. You can inherit them. They can be generationally transferred to you. Uh, or watch this, you can wisely or unwisely choose them yourself. Hallelujah, yeah. I, I discovered, hallelujah, in my life and that there's some things, hallelujah, that's a burden to me that I that I, I unwisely chose. And then I discovered there's some things, glory to God, that's a load to me that I did wisely choose. And saints of God, and, and today's message is gonna help you, I pray, deal with and discover how to properly manage the weight and the burdens that you carry, amen? Because I've discovered that improper weight distribution uh, affects your life, your productivity, and your durability. That if you do not properly apportion that weight across your structure and across your capacity and across your life, that it can impact your ability, your, your, your quality of life. It can impact your productivity in life and it can impact your durability in Jesus name. So I want you to tune in. I want you to stick into this and lean into this message because I believe it's going to help you. Amen. It is of godly urgency that you consistently evaluate the weight that you carry. You should not dismiss it. You should not just uh, say, that's just the way it is. No, saints of God, you should be evaluating the weight that you carry. You should be looking at it and examining it, amen, to make sure that it's in its proper place and that it is apportioned properly in your life. It would help if you were led by the Spirit to perform consistent weight distribution and weight redistribution checks, amen? That you need to check in with God and check in with the word of God and apply the wisdom of God to your life so that you can properly and uh, apportion that weight and get it in the right places, amen? And discard that which is not your responsibility. Beloved, I believe by grace through faith today that you've been given all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. I believe the word of God is true today. I believe that you have the capacity that God has empowered you and enabled you to get the job done. I believe that God has given you just what you need, hallelujah, so that you can navigate and manage the weight that you carry. I believe that God will not put any more on you than you can bear. I believe that in my heart today. And I believe, hallelujah, that some of us saints of God are dealing with that right now, that we're feeling the, the weightiness and the heaviness of the weight in our lives. And that's why God wants me to minister on this. Some of us are feeling the load and it's, it's almost God has broken down and crushed, but God has a word for us, amen? And what we must do, saints of God, is understand and be woke as relates to this area of life because the devil is trying to trap you and deceive you and tempt you in this creation critical area. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy your life and destroy your relationships. You must resist the devil. Amen. You got to resist him. You must resist him in this area of weight responsibility and management because the devil is poised to pounce on you and take advantage of you and devour you if you let it. He wants to make you quit. He wants to make you feel that you're the only one going through, that you're the only one carrying that weight, that you're the only one that got that issue, that you're the only one that got that burden to deal with. But the devil is alive. In Jesus' name, you're not alone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're not alone. You can make it, but you have to learn how to properly distribute the weight in the in the burdens in your life. Amen. The loads and the burdens in your life. Now, now let's go to the word of God and, and let's see what God has to say to us. And the three verses we're going to lift up today. Galatians chapter six, verse two says this, carry each other's burdens. And in this way, you fulfill the law of Christ, which is Christian love. Galatians 6, 5 says, for each one should carry their own load. Again, notice those two words. 6, 2 said burdens, carry each other's burdens. 6, 5 says, carry their own load. And then 1 Peter 5, 7 says, let God have all your worries and cares, for he is always thinking about you and watching everything that concerns you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Now, every one of us, has weight, right? Hallelujah. Everybody got weight. Everybody's carrying some form of weight today. Amen. In the form of either burden 
or a load. Amen. Everyone's got some burdens and everybody got loads. Doesn't matter your age, doesn't matter your gender. You got some loads and you got some burdens that you're dealing with or carrying in an everyday life. Amen. Now the questions that kept coming up in my spirit is, how are you holding your weight? Number one. And then number two, uh, based on the particular weight distribution in your life, how is life productivity and durability going in your life? How is it going? So number one, how are you holding your weight? And then number two, based upon the particular weight distribution that you're carrying right now, hallelujah, and how's a portion in your life, how is life? How is your productivity at work? How is your productivity at home? How, uh, what's your durability like? You know, do you feel like getting up? Do you feel like you can make it? Do you feel like you can hang in there? Do you feel like you can endure? Hallelujah. Are you ready to quit? Are you ready to throw in the towel? Are you ready to, to, to turn in your pink slip, your letter of resignation? Are you ready to, to not go back to school in the fall? Are you ready to, to get a divorce? Are you ready to just say, I, I'm, I'm through. I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can do, do this anymore. And if that's you today, beloved, then listen to me. God wants to talk to you. God wants you to hear this message today. You don't have to quit, glory be to God. You don't have to give in and you don't have to get out, give out in Jesus' name. God's strength can reach you and lift you up, glory be to God, hallelujah. Now the Greek words for burden and load give us insight into the meaning of this text. So the text in Galatians 6.2 and Galatians 6.5, the Greek words burden and load give us insight. For the Greek word for burden means excess burdens. Things that God, watch this, did not give us to carry. Watch out now. Burdens, excess burdens, hallelujah, are things that God did not give us to carry. Burdens are that, they, they, are, they are so heavy that they weigh us down. Burdens, burdens are like boulders. They can crush us and we're not, watch this, expected to carry a boulder by ourselves. It would break our backs if we carried a boulder by ourselves. We need help with boulders. We need help with burdens. And burdens are those, those times of crises and tragedy in our lives. Burdens are not something that, that you're supposed to be living with. Amen. Burdens are something that comes up in your life. That's a burden. And, and it, it's something in excess of the load. It's something on top of the load. Hallelujah. Everybody got a load. I'm going to get into that in a minute. But the burden is what happens that comes on top of the load. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So you got the load, but then here comes a burden. Here comes a, a tragedy. Here comes a crisis. Here comes some trauma. Here comes some drama. Sometimes it comes walking in. Sometimes it comes raining in. Come, sometimes it comes blowing in. But saints of God, what God wants you to understand is that these burdens are excess burdens. They're, they're excess loads. They're, they're on top of the load. Hallelujah. They're not loads. They're on top of the load and they're not meant for you to carry by yourself. They're like boulders. And saints of God, if you carry them by yourself, you'll break your back. Hallelujah. To break you, to crush you. In contrast, the Greek word for load means cargo. Ah, just that distinction alone. Cargo from an excess burden to cargo. See, a load is a load. It, 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 it's, like, uh, it's like the freight on a ship. Properly, a load is something that, saints of God, that you must carry and must be carried by the individual i.e. It, it is something personal and henceforth it is not transferable. Glory be to God. It cannot be shifted to someone else. The distinction between that burden is burden is a life tragedy that comes up, but the load is something that's been given to you by God. God has given it to you and it takes your responsibility to carry it. You are expected to carry your own full load. You are expected to carry your own. Unlike the burden, you're not expected to carry that by yourself because it's like a boulder. It's a crisis. It's a tragedy. It's some, some unknown event that comes. But saints of God, we are expected, when we talk about loads, you are expected to deal with your own feelings, your own attitudes, and your own behaviors, as well as, watch this, your own responsibilities. Hallelujah. God wants you to deal with the responsibilities that he has given to you. And in fact, he has given you things that he has assigned to you. He expects you to deal with them, even though it takes effort. 
Hallelujah. In both instances, burdens or loads, you must persevere by grace through faith in Jesus' name. Now, I want to drop two life work principles on you today. Hallelujah. Now, let's, before we go forward, I want to review. Burdens, weight comes in the forms of burdens and loads, right? Burdens are excess burdens. Burdens are, are things that, that come up in our life that are tragic. Uh, they are crises. Uh, they're trauma or drama. Hallelujah. And we're not expected to carry our burdens by ourselves. Glory be to God. Burdens are designed to be, uh, uh, hallelujah, not to be carried on your own. And you're not responsible for trying to deal with that by yourself. Unlike the load is that which has been assigned to you and is very personable, hallelujah, personal. And watch this, God expects you to handle it yourself. Those loads are non-transferable. You cannot shift them to another person. They are yours. They are your responsibilities. Now, the first life work principle is this. The weight you carry is manageable. Say it after me. The weight I carry is manageable. The weight that God has assigned to you has been appointed to you. Watch this according to your capacity and ability. For instance, take the parable of the talents. The Bible says that he gave one five and one two and one one according to their several ability. So God knows your capacity. God knows your ability. And so God's going to give you a load based upon, watch this, your ability. In fact, saints of God, I'm going to say this. God's going to bring burdens in your life or allow burdens to come in your life based upon your capacity and ability. Amen. Saints of God. And the Bible teaches us that God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond that. You are able to bear. And with every and every temptation, he gives you to watch this, the grace to bear up under it in Jesus name. And then saints of God, think about what, he, what Paul says that, that God is infusing him with inner strength. And if he did it for Paul, he's doing it for you. So I want to make it very clear that the weight you carry is manageable. It is manageable. What the enemy wants you to think and me to think is that what you're dealing with, you're the only one dealing with it and you can't manage it. Saints of God, if God is giving you a load, he expects you to manage it. Amen. Hallelujah. If God has brought or released a burden in your life or allowed a burden to come life, he expects you to get the help to manage it. Amen. But it can be manageable. The weight you carry can be managed in Jesus name. And weight management in, the, in that Galatians 6.2 verse, it says, carry each other's burdens, which demonstrates the Christian love. People will know that we are Christians by our love. So saints of God, this verse here is saying, it shows us our responsibility to one another and not for one another. It's important that you understand that distinction. 6.2 says, carry each other's burdens, that excess, unexpected, boulder-like situation, that crisis, that, that, that tragedy that someone, an unexpected death, that, that, that tragedy someone has experienced, God says you and I should carry, help carry that burden in our beloved friend's life. Amen. See, saints of God, many times others have burdens that are too big for them to bear by themselves. They do not have enough strength. They do not have enough resources or enough knowledge to carry the excess weight. So they need help. And that's why God, hallelujah, sometimes allow us to experience certain things so that we can in turn help somebody else that is going through it, hallelujah, after us. See, God wants us, when he says in Galatians chapter, chapter 6, verse 2, carry each other's burden, he's saying, I want you to deny yourself, hallelujah, so you can help somebody else, hallelujah, glory to God, that cannot carry that excess burden, that extra load, that boulder by themselves. Saints of God, it's about you and I understanding that we have a responsibility to reach back and reach around us to the next generation, hallelujah, to those that are on the left or on the right, and help them out to carry that load. Show them how you did it. Show them, share with them the wisdom, how you did it. You know, it, it, it's like it's like a spotter in the gym, amen? So so sometimes the, the, the spotter is there, watch this, in the, in the weight room, he's there not, he or she is there not to what? Lift your weight for you, but watch this, they just spot you. They're there to assist you in lifting the weight. They're not, they're not, they're, glory to God. They're not there to take your weight off of you. They're there to lift it, to assist you in lifting it. 
in case, hallelujah, you can't handle it by yourself. Now, saints of God, I need you to understand this. Hey, man, the spotter, hallelujah, is there to help you lift the weight, hallelujah, if you can't carry it by yourself. A lot of times what we think when by taking the weight off of people, we're helping them. We're not. We're actually hurting them in the long run. So God says to us in Galatians chapter 6, verse 2, that when it comes to burdens, not loads, when it comes to burdens, we have to help one another. Hallelujah. Deal with that burden. Amen. And then on the other hand, Galatians 6, 5 says that each one should carry his own load. Everyone, beloved, has responsibilities that only he or she can carry. These are things, hallelujah, that, that, are, that are on, that are our own uh, particular load. These are things that belong to us that we need to take daily responsibility for and work out. No one can do certain things for us. We have to take ownership of certain aspects of our life that are our own load. You got to own that, amen? You got to own that bill. You got to own that responsibility. You got to own that marriage. You got to own your children. You have to take responsibility for that which is your load, amen? For that which has been God ordained and God assigned to you. You signed up for that and you have to take ownership of that, amen? Praise be to God. And saints of God, so again, life work principle number one is that all of our weight is manageable. It's manageable. If it's a burden, God can assign someone or God will call someone to come into your life, hallelujah, that can help you deal with that excess weight, hallelujah, that excess burden, that crisis or that tragedy in your life, hallelujah. Or watch this, God will use you to help somebody else, amen? That's what God does. He's in his wise providence. Also, when it comes to that weight is manageable, God wants you to understand that that load that you're carrying he has given you the ability to carry it. It's manageable. Amen. Now, life work principle number two is this. God provides help through proper weight distribution. Now, when I looked at this, saints of God, when I looked at these two verses, amen, and began to pray for guidance, here's where I saw the tension. Here is where the tension is in the text. And you know I like going where the tension is because that's where the rubber meets the road. That's where you got to grapple with that thing and wrestle with that thing. And here is in the tension in the text, which speaks to the importance of proper weight distribution with the weight that you carry. Remember, improper weight distribution can negatively affect your life, your productivity, and your durability. Amen? And so when it comes to, 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 properly managing the weight that we carry, the problem arises and the tension in the text arise when people act as if, watch this, their burdens are daily loads and refuse help or as, or as if their daily loads are burdens that they shouldn't have to carry. I'm going to say it again because I said it so fast. I said the problem arise when people act as if their burdens are daily loads and refuse help or as if their daily loads are burdens that they shouldn't have to carry. See, the results of these two instances are either perpetual pain or irresponsibility. Say, say, God, somebody today wants to quit and give up over something that was never designed for them to carry over a long period of time. It's an excess burden. It was not designed for you to carry this long. Glory be to God. It was not designed. You ain't supposed to be in crisis perpetually without an end. You're not supposed to be living in drama perpetually without end, saints of God. And because we're distinct, we're confusing burdens from daily load, saints of God, you're refusing to help. See, you are perpetuating the pain because you won't allow anyone to help you deal with what you got to deal with. It's like I was saying last week, amen. Sometimes, saints of God, the hurt and pain is lasting in our lives because we're nurturing it and nursing it. That, that unforgiveness and you can't move on. Hallelujah, if you're nurturing and nursing it. Well, so do you, saints of God, with a burden. A burden will, put, will, will end up in perpetual pain if you're confusing it with the daily low. Saints of God, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, you got to know and discern the difference between a burden and a load. Because if you don't, then, hallelujah, you'll think you're supposed to be doing that by yourself. And you'll refuse to help. You'll, you'll be prideful. And won't tell anybody. And won't let anybody help you. Brothers, brothers, can I talk to my brothers today? Yes, I can. If you're married, 
You remember what God said in Genesis chapter 1 and 2? He says, it's not good for you to be alone. Amen. So I'm going to make you, I'm going to make you a helper, someone suitable. Hallelujah. Why do you think God did that? Why do you think God brought you, brought this person into your life? Hallelujah. So that you can have someone that can help carry the load. But here you are prideful. And you're trying to, to shoulder this thing by yourself. And that's working against what God has designed. Hallelujah. If you're a single person, saints of God, and you don't know the difference between a burden and a load, God can bring a friend in your life. Because God says in the book of Ecclesiastes that two are better than one. God says, woe unto the one who falls down and they're by themselves and they have no one to help them get up because they're by themselves. Why are you refusing help? Your burden is not your load. Hallelujah. And then, saints of God, on the other end of that, hallelujah, you can watch this. You are so messed up and so jacked up and not operating in discernment. You are, watch this, treating your daily load like a burden. So now you think you shouldn't have to carry it. In Jesus' name, you got to carry the load of that marriage if you're married. You got to carry the load of that single life if you're single. You got to carry that load of parenthood if you're a parent. Fathers, you can't check out a fatherhood. You ain't babysitting nobody. That's your child. Glory be to God. And you have to understand that that is a load. Yes, it's heavy, but it's your load. Hallelujah. And you cannot confuse it with a burden thinking that you don't have to carry it. See, saints of God, you have to deal with this. All of us have to deal with it because we, if we're not careful, we'll be quitting and prematurely forfeiting and giving up over something that we should not be giving up over. Saints of God, you have to know, hallelujah, you have to know the difference between a burden and a load. Saints of God, many today have no desire to persevere because they feel, hallelujah, it's not on them. They feel, you know, I ain't on me. That's, that's, yes, it is, beloved, if it's your load. Jesus said it this way. He said, if anybody will come after me, let him what? Deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Jesus said, if you're going to follow me, you got to deny yourself and take up your cross. What is your cross? Your daily load, your responsibility. Saints of God, none of us can shirk the responsibility called our loads, amen, because it's heavy. Hallelujah, glory be to God. God will give you the strength. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Saints of God, God will give you the strength to carry that load. Yes, he will. His strength is reaching under you and you have to let him, hallelujah, let his strength be made perfect in your weakness so that you can carry that load. But you must discern the difference between a load and a burden, and a burden and a load. Saints of God, if we don't do this, we will stay in pain or become irresponsible. And it's very important that we discern and decide what the difference is between a burden and a load. And weight distribution, you must identify what it is. What, what, watch this. You must identify what's yours to help, what's yours to carry, and was yours to give to God. I'm going to say it again. When you deal with weight distribution, because that's what this last part of this last principle is about. It's about weight distribution. Discerning the difference between burden and load. Say to God. And in weight distribution or redistribution for that matter, you must identify what is yours to help, yours to carry, and yours to give to God. Hallelujah. Now, our life work actionable steps. Hallelujah. For today is number one, humble yourself and let someone help you lift the burden in your life. Number two, reach back or around and help someone else lift their burden. Number three, stop carrying what you should only be helping to lift. Glory to God, that's a good one. Number four, stop being irresponsible and start carrying your load. And number five, practice weight distribution and redistribution regularly. Examine your life. Hallelujah. And the Bible teaches us that God will, if you lack wisdom, glory be to God, you ask God, he'll give it to you. He'll give it to you freely so that you can properly apportion the weight in your life. Beloved, I'm here to tell you the weight you're carrying, it's manageable. And then praise be to God. Hallelujah. I want you to, I want you to join me right now. Hallelujah. To cast some of that weight, some of those burdens up off of you. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. Some of that anxious anxiety, that worry and anxiety, those cares, cast them on God right now and leave them there. 
Father, today we come in Jesus' name. We pray, Father, that your people will be blessed by this word. Lord God, we pray that they will discern the difference between burdens and loads. Lord God, we pray in Jesus' name, Lord God, that you would receive our worries and receive our cares because you care for us, Lord God, and we cast them upon you. We give them to you. We turn them over to you, Lord God. We release them and we worship you right now, God, because we believe you can handle it, Lord God. And then, Father God, we thank you for the wisdom right now that you're giving to us that we can properly discern, Lord God, how to appropriate and how to apportion the weight in our lives, Lord God, how to properly distribute it, Lord God, upon the capacity and the structure that we have and the ability that we have, Lord God. And we thank you today, Lord God, that you're giving us discernment, Lord God, and teaching us the time and when to help and how to help others lift their burdens. In Jesus' name, I thank you today, Lord God, for you are the lifter of our heads. You are the strength giver. Hallelujah. You are the way maker, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And I praise you. We praise you in Jesus' name. We kind of done and declared that it is so. And so it is. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's praise him right now. Hallelujah for the weight that you're able to carry by his grace through faith in Jesus' name. Now listen, Hallelujah. If you prayed, hallelujah, with us, amen, and you feel God tugging at you and you want to connect with us, hallelujah, follow the information on the screen right there. At New Beginnings Community Church Worldwide, we believe in connection. We believe in the power of connection to transform lives, to change the world. Simply put, we want to connect you to Christ. We want to connect you to, to his church. And we want to connect you to his great commission. Amen. I want to pray for you in Jesus' name. Father, lead your, pe lead your people to connect with you. Hallelujah. Save the unsaved, Lord God, and those that, hallelujah, don't have a pastor. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, they walked away, Lord God. Bring them back. Let them be reconnected. Hallelujah. To your church. It's in Jesus Christ's name. I pray and decree that it is so, and so it is. Amen. And listen, doesn't matter where you are and how far you are away from us, we believe, hallelujah, in Jesus' name that God has given us the anointing and the tools to disciple you right where you are. So reach out to us, follow that information, do it today, do it now in Jesus' name. Now, I wanna pray with you, hallelujah, about giving, amen. I thank you, hallelujah, for those who have partnered with us, our members, our partners, thank you for partnering with us, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, to go out into all the world and teach and preach this gospel and to help people in very tangible ways doing ministry locally and globally. So thank you for giving. Your giving makes a difference. And I pray that God will continue to add seed, harvest from your seed in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you today for those that are giving and those who have a desire to give but do not have it to give today. I pray blessings upon them. It's in Jesus' name. It is so. And so it is. Amen. Again, follow the information on our screen there. Hallelujah. And you have all those different ways that you can give. And we thank you. And I thank you for giving in advance today in Jesus' name. Last but not least, I want to remind you, hallelujah, and I want to say happy Father's Day again to all the fathers, hallelujah, and thank you for honoring me, hallelujah, for those who honor me as their spiritual father, but also for my children that honor me. Thank you in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Now remember, by God's grace through faith, the weight you carry is manageable, beloved. All you have to do is properly, hallelujah, distribute that weight, Hallelujah. And then redistribute it if you have to in Jesus' name. God bless you today. Until next week, this is Tim Williams saying, God bless you. It is so. And so it is. Amen.